So just trying to warm up the car or something now because it's like 30 some odd degrees out here before I get to uh, start breaking everything down just to get the motor, motor to warm up so the boats won't be all seized and all frozen up. This car been sitting for a couple of days. So once I get it, you know, a little bit warmer, it's a little warm now, a little bit warmer like I'll be able to go ahead and get it apart without really breaking anything too much. to keep the bolts put them back in we got them from the tent it's a little bit easy to remember where everything go at Starting pump, which is right here. Get this bike up. That should be cool to me. This one or this one, which is top dead center, but what you can do is uh, a notch here and a notch here, you line them up with the notches right here. I mean, if you want to do it this way, you can, you really don't got to line it up. And that's loose, that's not good, because that's loose. 
but um shows are neutral because it won't work. Just like this. This is how you line it up. On the white notch to the zero. And that notch to that one. That notch to that one. Now if you do this, you just take it off. 
try to set your bolts in one place. Harmonic balance and removal tool. Okay. And other good stuff. This, screw this in. Don't leave this exposed. You got these. This one. Just, just, supposed to just click on. There you go. Twist it in. You find these screws that came with it. I think this one goes to it. Screw holes on here. I usually use two. I guess three of them. Oh, two, okay. But just make sure that's the right one. So what you do is, yeah, boom. Sorry, I'm breathing so hard. Just not again. I'm bundled up because it's like. Freaking 30 degrees. Well, it's still a little warm now. I don't need all these legs now. But so good. I'm already, I already got them on. You get those in there nice and snug. Don't beat it up. They in there enough. Won't enough to strip when you get the get that pull out on you. Beat a man, just boom. Yeah. Try to eye it and make sure these two are even because when you pull, you gotta pull even. That's what I Safe, please. The tool is only like 17 bucks, but well spent 17 bucks. <clears throat> so, this is the part that you can take so much time. In this place, I'm gonna create tools. Guys who work at the shop understand what I mean. All these are ten. Yeah. 
God damn it. <sighs> Ain't that a bleep? You mother bleep. So, um. Belt pop is all good. Life happens, stuff happens. <laughs> the time belt pop. This bolt is actually from. Dang, dang, I didn't invent it, so I gotta get another bolt. Dang. I know what that bolt was here. I was like, dang, it fell down in. It, it fell down in, bent up. Bent. Strip, bent and strip, but I got bolts like crazy, so I ain't really tripping. But I'm kind of mad that that happened. It ain't all the way pop, but you know you can't use that again. That is what it is. So um, this the tension to actually relieve tension. Um, what you could do is there's a bolt here and there's a bolt right, right there. Yeah, those are tens pop those two out the belt will just loosen up and drop down and you can take the time belt off but me i'm about to really just cut this joint oh you know what because i bump started it put this rip here remember i had bump started it so when i bump started it, i forgot the bolt was in. hopefully my freaking gear is not all chewed up i'm gonna take that off and check it i mean it is what it is man it's life so what i'm really doing today is i'm changing the oil pump which is this piece right here because I'm having low oil pressure issues. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish taking this off. That only took a couple of minutes, not too long. I'm not doing the water pump because the water pump is pretty decent condition. I'm not worried about that. If it go up, I can always just come back in and change it. But I mean, so 10, 10, this whole piece will come out. This will drop back and you can just pull it straight off. I got the tension off. Um, but the best idea to do is the pit, use a breaker bar. If you're gonna use this over, I wouldn't recommend you using this over, but I'm gonna use mine's over, but I wouldn't tell you to use yours over. But pit tension on this to pull this, to push this down and use the actual grenade pin that come with these or a tiny Allen key, because you gotta go through this hole. You wanna press this pin down, get this hole lined up with this hole that's in here. I know you can see the hole right there. So get both holes lined up, slide the Allen key or grenade pin in, and then pull it off. Or if you don't have a grenade pin, you can use a tiny Allen key. Or like I'm gonna do, uh, use a C-clamp to compress this down. And then I got a grenade pin sitting around from this actual timing bolt tensioner to um, close this all down and take, you know, close it all down so when I put it on, it won't be tensioned. Pull the grenade pin, set the timing belt. Um, but I broke this part on the oil pump, a piece of the the front main set, main crankshaft seal is broke underneath of this. So I'm gonna pull this off, get this, uh, oh, my bad, got sidetracked. Get, get, uh, get the oil pump off, take this off, oil pump off and take this off. So I'm sorry about the view, that's like the best I can do. Break a bar technique. Where are we going with this one? Uh, I gotta break a bar in the basement. I don't feel like grabbing it. So, you always take your time. Yes. 
boot this boot move this out the way this boot just loosen it up this boot okay. one two three four five six seven eight got there's a lot of boots so i'm gonna go ahead and get this off and get back to y'all what's up youtube um back in the house now just got out the shower um i'm actually about to go pick up my kids now from school but um i'm my brother just ran the quick update so the goal today was to get the oil pump off the car that didn't happen mainly because uh i have to lift the oil lift the engine up to take the oil sump and the oil pan off because the uh, oil pump is kind of like intertwined with the oil sump. Like it's like a piece probably about that big that's down in the sump. So you gotta drop the sump off to actually get the oil pump off. Everything else went pretty good besides, um, oh yeah, I wanted to say uh, with the timing belt tensioner, those bolts are actually 12 millimeters. My bad, I told you I 10, but it's 12s. Um, but yeah, no biggie. I'm gonna go get me an engine hoist by in like a couple of days for real so that way i could hoist the motor get this job knocked out but um as always thanks for tuning in subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and um thanks for subscribing and yeah man i mean i did my best but um i'm not held liable if you try to do your timing belt and you mess it up but you can definitely use my uh video as a guide don't mind if you want to ask a question um, but I will be updating like a part two of the reassemble so that way you guys can see how it go. But um, until next time, y'all.